much yet. They're bound to hate us even more now. Oh well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into jumping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? We should have landed on that field. We were still flying and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? I'm not getting to Moscow from here, that's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others, they have relatives there. Maybe. It's been 10 years, but I could still be alive. Anyways. We'll have to make ourselves at home here now, since we're alive. The bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well, 
We'll have to leave and see about that. Here's Artyom, back from the abyss of NATO occupation. You're alive! <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. <laughs> <laughs>